All right, guys, New Age Tactical back with another video. This may look familiar. It looks kind of like a post review. But it's not. Lansky. The knife medic. Blade medic. Knife medic, blade medic, same For once, I did do research ahead of time because we got a lot of hate on our last sharpener, so I wanted to be sure that we did it right this and time. And that was such bull That, that was, was a, a piece of that sharpener. Was a piece of sharpener, it was. I learned a lot about this thing, and I gotta already say, I already like it. You've got the carbide sharpener, the ceramic sharpener. So the carbide is for, like, heavy-duty ceramic is for... So, at what I learned... Well, all right, to finish, got the carbide, the ceramic... So the carbide is... <laughs> serrated ceramic and then a diamond tapered rod for, ceramic, for the serrates this carbide sharpener what I found out in multiple videos including on the website of Lansky do not use this unless you are looking to take a shit load of the steel off of that blade this carbide sharpener is not meant for anything other than a blade that is already butchered to all hell you, that leaves you with the ceramic, the serrated ceramic, and the diamond tapered rod. You Obviously, it's intended for serrated, which most knife sharpeners do not have any availability for a serrated blade. This gives you two options, but you can use both of these options for just regular sharpening back and forth. Newer model, by the way, does have magnets. Yeah, I saw that. That was pretty cool. Older model didn't have that, I found out. It's got a magnet on this end as well, so it got a little bit of rigidity. So the carbide is to take off rough, ish, like rough issues, chips. I watched I watched the guy on YouTube put do it over a white piece of paper, and literally like chunks were coming off of this thing. Ceramic is to fine too. So theoretically, with a straight edge blade, one two swipes, then a couple swipes here, and it should be sharp. No, you do not use the carbide. <laughs> it's f up, like super. F up. Well, I'm super sure one of these is super. F no, I, I don't, none of these land in the area of how f***ed up they are talking about. Like, okay. we are not, we will not be using this carbide sharpener today because we don't want to f*** any of these blades up. So it's like sharp up top, but down here, nothing. Most of the guys say to just literally go with the weight of the knife. All the way to the tip. Now I'm doing it off to the side so the camera can see, but you want to be able to like keep that straight. No. And worse? Yeah. What kind of steel is that? D2. That might be why. Nah, it could be why. D2 is one of the hardest to sharpen. Pretty rough. It's rough, not not horrible. It does say to switch it like that. Mm-hmm. Because then that keeps the tool even. A couple more times, this thing will be pretty damn it did, sharp. It got, yeah. it got improvement. Improvement. Ooh, holy sh**. Yeah, I'm in on that. Back to original. Guys, give us a little leeway here okay the d2 i've i know or i've heard in the past is the hardest to sharpen so that didn't really work out that well that one sharpened perfectly now the buck so it's it's just got a couple grabs in there so that's literally what we're trying to do is get rid of these little burrs I feel like the weight of this thing might break it. <laughs> Alright, so 10 times each way. 
Wow. Nope, we're catching right in the middle. Mm -hmm. All right, now I'm starting to see an edge. Improvement though. Yeah, it just seems they're right in the middle, probably where we open so the So now, you can see it right there. This is diamond tapered. Everybody I was watching, you could do any number of sharpening technique, the techniques with this. You can still see the dead spot. Let's see real quick. Made it worse. It could have been me, so but ceramic. it made it worse. There it is. Ceramic's better. No, so look, that's that bird is not there anymore. Mm -hmm. So the diamond, the diamond taper took the the bump off, but dulled the blade a little bit, and then the ceramic put the edge right back on. Hmm. So for serrated, you've got two different ways of doing this, and you're gonna go in between the bumps. And you're gonna ride that out. Just the one side too, right? And it's very time consuming because you gotta do each one of those teeth. But now there's not quite a way we can test this to show it to you. Like even the sisal rope is not gonna have that much of a difference. And then you have also the option. Now look, all right, so check this up tooth up, the first one. It's not rounded off yet. It's not rounded off yet. Yeah, so it's gonna take some time. That's not the only way. You can also hold the knife still. Yeah, but still, it's still too... So if you were to use the diamond rod, I think it would have done a better... It would do a better job. And so we already felt like the diamond rod did a little too much. But look, yeah. look, it's gone. It's there, but it's getting less and less Wait, every single time. Let me time. try something real quick. Oh, dude. You just turn it to the side a little bit. Oh, to fill it. Yep. The diamond rod did it, and then the ceramic sharpened it. Again, please don't castrate us for this. This is a learning experience for us. So it seems like the diamond rod is more like the bruiser. Like, let me get rid of the, the, the chunky burrs. style. I'll yeah. get rid of the burr, I'll flatten the blade out for you, and then you just use the ceramic to kind of clean it up. So I, I would say like the next knife I would do is I would do this first, then go to the ceramic to fine tune. You really want to play around with that fucking carbide? Yeah, give me a piece of paper. I'm gonna lay this bitch on, and we're gonna like knife up. Give me some piece of cheapest knife. Although I think I could probably put an edge on this now. <laughs> Ooh. So it wasn't as much as I expected. No. Oh, you got a saw to get that to go through paper. So, all right. Cheapest knife. What did, we don't Five dollars. Five dollars. Let's see if I can get this thing sharp. better but it proves it a couple last things to note you've got that little lanyard hole definitely makes it travel size now it is solid steel I think it's worth it though which brings it to three and a half ounces I think for the versatility of this it's worth it we always say we're not professionals in any sense especially when it comes to sharpening now, when it comes to this, like, we really didn't know how to use it. We had to Google how to use it and stuff. So, as far as I'm concerned, it, obviously, the longer I play with this, the better. And there was a comment put out there not or on one of our last videos was, like, show the ease of sharpening, which kind of got us thinking. 
I've heard in the past D2 is one of the harder steels, so it's 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 really hard to sharpen with, you know, a, a minor sharpener. Everything else kind of passed the test, though, you know. Well, not everything else. We only did four different steels, maybe, maybe five. I don't even know what that is. And what's pretty cool is just in the past 10 minutes, I learned that that diamond rod kind of takes off the burrs off of, uh, what was it, the buck knife, right? Yeah. The buck knife had a burr from opening the can. It took and the, the burr. The serrate had a burr. Pretty right off, or pretty much right off of it. And then I used the ceramic to fine tune it. And it, damn, it came out pretty f sharp again. I, really I think do. it's great. I think yeah. I think with a little more practice and a little more knowing what we're doing, basically. On its own, this is ten dollars. And it's now, solid steel. Like, Angelo's is, Edge Grace sent me a comment letting me know that they had that combo package, which was the Lansky Blade Medic and the Lansky Responder packaged together for twenty four ninety nine. So thank you, Angelo, for letting me know about that. It was worth $24 just for this sharpener. Yeah. Oh, shit. Let's do the Lansky. Okay. <laughs> so a significant improvement. you want to perfect it. Yep. All right. Better. I got one level more of curiosity. Oh, shit. Let's give that a shot. I almost see they made it worse. Like, look, watch. But again, this comes down to the question of is it technique? Or steel. Or, or steel, you know, like. So there's a lot of questions still out there. Yeah. But uh, I will say I definitely love it, especially for that price. Something with this amount of intricacy, I would expect to be like twenty five dollars. If you really took like the OS eight, if that was a knife you were carrying, that would be like phenomenal. Because remember, they said it's not about pressure. At that point, yeah. it's repetition. Yeah. So if it requires fifty to get it where it needs to be, and then if you got so the time big, to just sit there and, shh, 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 shh. it's not our last dive into sharpening. No. Either. I mean, this is like. Dude, I already got my sights on something. <laughs> Save yourself the time, put an extra $5 on there, and buy the Lansky Blade Medic. And guys, we're looking for a little critique. I mean, nice critique. I really, really don't want to hear the negativity bullshit. But a little like, hey, if you would have done this or that, it would have been much better. I'm 100% in for. 10 bucks for solid, like, you're not breaking this. I mean, you might break the ceramic, but... Bottom line, it's more user friendly than a stone. Yeah, it's got everything you can need for a field sharpener. You know what I mean? Just real quick, throw an edge on a blade. I mean, even a fixed blade. You're using a fixed blade every day. This can still do a fixed blade. Mm -hmm. So, like, subscribe, guys. We're putting all of our links to everything that we do right down in the uh, description. You know, it helps us out just as much to get you what you want. And honestly, if you're curious to any of these knives, I'll just put the link for every yeah. one of the knives that we did today. Follow us on Instagram. Hit that bell. Other than that, guys, New Age Tactical. Over and out.